In October 2014, the LBJ Library did something unusual in its 50-year history. It staged a play, and it had a special audience in mind, kids ranging from fourth grade to high school. The show was called Liberty, Equality, and Fireworks by playwright Gregory S. Perrin. It was commissioned and produced by a local Austin children's performing arts group called the Pollyanna Theater Company. Here's a quick look. The only way for us to get our rights is through nonviolence. Nonviolence? Yes. You can't win a fight with both your hands tied behind your back. So nonviolence is the only way for us to get our rights without even throwing a punch. The play, focusing on the struggle for civil rights in the US in the middle of the 1960s, is set in a history museum. The action exposes young audiences to key aspects of the civil rights movement, as well as the Voting Rights Act. Iconic images and photos literally come to life before everyone's eyes. Amanda Melanson is the director of the education department here at the LBJ Library. Amanda, how did audiences respond to the show? The passion for equity and anti-racist work is really clear in students as they walk out of the play. The concepts in the play are so hard to teach in a classroom, and by students being able to see their peers from 60 years ago live through the civil rights movement, students are able to put themselves in those shoes and walk away asking a lot of questions and wanting to know more. It's a, a long-lasting reach that I think will just continue for the next 50 years of the library's history. Every year, we welcome thousands of school kids to the library to learn from our exhibits and our education specialists. And every year, we invite teachers to take part in our programs, whether in person or virtually, to help them hone their understanding of the LBJ years. In recent years, we've even invited students or teachers to visit with distinguished visitors, including former Secretary of State Madeleine Albright, journalist Dan Rather, former National Security Advisor Susan Rice, Olympic medalist Ibtihaj Muhammad, Andrew Young, Julian Bond, and Justice Sandra Day O'Connor. LBJ is often called the education president, and not without reason. The education bills that he signed into law created tremendous new opportunities for Americans to attend school at every level. Here at the LBJ Library, we try to live up to President Johnson's legacy every day.